the teacher read me about the Bible story. We break up into small groups and I like when we read the Bible and we memorize the verses. My second favorite part is learning about Jesus dynamic. Um, we all say different things that we've learned. As their dad, it just blesses my heart to hear my kids talking about the Bible with each other. Well, being military, we move around a lot. And so we've had kids in different kids programs in uh, a lot of different churches in a lot of different states. Um, so we found this one on, uh, on Google, and um, so we were able to come. And yeah, definitely felt very welcomed. Uh, um, actually learned what the Bible says. Yeah, probably one of the most influential things that caused us to choose this church versus the other one. Every lesson we do, if it's in the Old Testament or if it's in the New Testament, it always ties in to Jesus. It's Yeah, it's really unified in kind of the one story bit about Jesus is God's purpose for us all. They focus on getting into the Bible and seeing what the Bible is saying, and I loved that. All right not to entertain the kids, mm -hmm. but to actually teach them in ways that the kids learn. The word intentional comes to mind for me. Uh, when we came here, we definitely got the impression that this was intentional. Coming in here, uh, the church had only been meeting in this building for a few months, I think, at post-COVID. Um, so it was pretty small still. Um, and that, that was the case when we started coming here. Um, but is uh, now we have way too many kids in <laughs> those little bitty rooms. It's time. <laughs> it's time for some expansion. There has been up to like 35 children in there at one time. But that many kids, if there's a little bit of chatter, it's hard for people to hear. I think the children's ministry team is doing a good job of doing the best they can in the situation, trying to find solutions to make it work because we want it to be good for the kids. The more kids that are in each room, the harder it is to do that. The more kids there are to each volunteer, the harder it is for them to get that perspective, to get that understanding. I think at some point, if the numbers get so big, we'll actually, we'll have to turn kids away. You know, growth is probably gonna be a continual problem for us, but, but I think prioritizing children's ministry uh, as a priority I think says that we want to administer to their needs and help them uh, instill faith in their kids. When we got here, it was being done well. Right now, it's being done as well as we can. Yeah. And <laughs> to really get it back to well, we need more, we need that more space. We need the, uh, the parents to, whatever we can do to uh, contribute. We want to have open arms, we want to have the space, we want to have the ability to welcome anyone and everyone. Um, it's all coming together again as a body to invest in the next generation. And it makes a well-rounded church to have all age groups ministered to.